Hi, everyone. I am Taylor Phillips. I'm an assistant professor at NYU Stern. And today, I'll be presenting work in progress with my colleagues Tamar Kreps, who's at the University of Hawaii's Business School, and Dolly Chug, who we'll hear from more tomorrow. So our research question was really about what motivates allies in the first place. So here we see an example of a privileged ally, so a white person supporting Black Lives Matter. Here we're really gonna focus on that kind of privileged ally in our context, or a dominant group member who's supporting a cause of a marginalized group. So if you look at the internet, but also research, there's kind of two theories out there about what motivates privileged allies. One you can kind of call the cookies theory. So this is the idea that really allies might be in it for themselves, that they're just trying to show, prove that they're a good person, kind of get that, that merit feeling. Then another perspective would suggest, maybe you call this the justice theory, that what allies are trying to do is really transcend themselves, that they're in it to try to dismantle systems of privilege and actually make change. So we explored this. First, we just went out to do a descriptive analysis. We sampled a lot of different folks, and we just tried to look at, OK, what's predicting allyship, specifically activism intentions. And then we see, I'm not showing you this slide, but a similar pattern for allyship identification, so how strongly you hold that identity. And what we see, we're using short social values here. So what we see over and over is that both self-transcending and self-enhancing motivations are driving ally behavior. So I want to flag that, because the takeaway here could look like self-enhancement works better, sorry, self-transcending works better. But notice that self-enhancement is also showing a significant effect, okay? So both of these things are motivating allies. But notice what happens when we actually act, ask allies to act. So the other thing was activism intentions. How much do you say you're willing to go to protest, right? This is actually showing up. This is signing a petition. And so here we see that usually it's that self-transcending that's, that's winning the day. OK, then for me, the really interesting part. We ask those same samples of people to write a post or share with us a post they had written, Twitter, Facebook, et cetera, kind of endorsing or showing their allyship. These are the kinds of things that we see. So you are seen, you are loved, hashtag LGBT ally. Today's the start of LGBT History Month. I want every colleague across the police service to be themselves and work, that kind of thing. We took all of these posts and kind of allyship messages from our original samples, and we then gave them to a series of new samples. And these people represented a lot of different audiences, so also allies, non-allies, or members of the marginalized group themselves. And here's what we find. If the author or the original ally who wrote the message had relatively more self-transcending values, they tended to use more collective language in their allyship messages. That led to increased persuasion and liking across all three audiences. We were interested in finding audience moderation. We didn't find that. All three audiences liked those posts better. If the author was more self-enhancing, they tended to use more I language, more negative emotionality. And those really backfired. So again, across all three audiences, people were persuaded less to support this cause. And they also liked the post, liked the person list. So in sum, this kind of question, what are the allies really in it for? Is it a selfish or is it selfless? We find evidence that probably both things are going on, um, but that one motive might work a little better than the other in terms of effective allyship. So the question might not be, who do we want being our allies, but if we're thinking in terms of collective action, organizing ourselves, in what roles do we want to place these different kinds of allies? Thank you. <laughs>